Unfortunately, no great news on light hash rate on 100% unlocks either, but we do have GPU news coming from WCCF Tech. First, Intel Arc Alchemist gaming graphics card expected to launch between May and June. Intel Arc's Alchemist graphics card for the desktop PC segment are now expected to launch quarter next quarter around May to June. The latest information comes from Igor Wallasek from Igor's lab who has got new details on the launch schedule of the upcoming gaming lineup. As for him, the Intel Arc Alchemist graphics cards will indeed end up launching in Q2 2022 as the blue team confirmed, but it looks but it confirmed, but it looks the lineup would first include high-end variants and will eventually move to the mainstream segment. It is also stated that the QS samples are expected to tape out in one to two weeks, which means that Intel will have at least two months of production capacity for the gaming segment. Quote, several different sources have told me of another Intel card postponement, at least as far as Q1 to 3. The three performance models are concerned. There are currently consistent rumors that the first models will be released between May 2nd and June 1st. Furthermore, the tape out of the QS qualified sample should not take place for one to two weeks. It looks like Igor is referring to the SOC1 when he talks about QS tape out since the Mobility Arc SOC2 is already confirmed for launch this quarter. The SOC2 is the smallest of the two chips, so the full variant, which is expected to ship on desktops, first comes a little later, and hence we, uh, and hence we the uh, the Q2 launch instead of Q1. Slow down on writing these. There's a lot of like crazy mistakes here making it hard to read <laughs> oh we have already detailed the core architecture specifications and features of the arc alchemist lineup in our detailed roundup over here as we know the intel arc alchemist lineup will feature two primary dg2 gpu SKUs. SKUs the big soc1 and the small soc2 the soc1 will feature dg to 512 configuration and will be utilized by the Arc A700 and Arc A500 series graphics card solutions. While the SOC2 config that will utilize the DG2128 SKU will be utilized by the Arc A300 series. At least three SKUs are expected to launch within the Intel Alchemist Discrete gra Desktop Graphics Card lineup for gaming PCs. If all goes according to plan, Intel hopes to ship at least a million GPUs based on its Arc design each year. That's a crazy amount hitting the market for a first time launch. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll be good. Let's take a look at this. Some of the uh, excitement surrounding these for me is going to be obviously the power consumption that we've been talking about for a while. So at the top end here, the XCHP G512, we're looking at 256 bit memory bus with memory speed unknown yet. Hopefully we get that 18 gigabits per second. I would assume so because that's what pretty much all of that is moving to, but maybe we get the 16 and that is sub 225 watts, which actually beats out potentially for mining at this point would beat out both NVIDIA and AMD on power consumption, presumably to hash rate ratio. And it gets better as you go down the line. You got 192 bit bus with a power usage between 150 and 200 watts on the desktop. And then you have a 128-bit bus between 60 and 80 watts. And then you got a 96-bit bus at around 75 watts. So power consumption is looking really, really good with the amount of available memory speed or memory bandwidth or potential memory bandwidth, right? So we could see not only a huge supply, but pretty reasonably priced GPUs to start building mining rigs with, I think, at this point. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about the Alchemist from a mining perspective? I am. Uh, I always like new hardware to test. <clears throat> that being said, Ada Lovelace is looking like a power-hungry monger, even though 
there is something to say for the amount of hash rate you're going to potentially get out of like a 4090 that'll just be fun to test out. But at 600 watts, ugh, it's a, it's a little rough, you know? I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.